I'm Elizabeth, and welcome to Elizabeth's Wild Kingdom. Today we are talking about Pacific tree frogs. They're also known as the chorus frog. Cause they're so loud! <laughs> Their fancy scientific name is Pseudochris vigilla. Pacific tree frogs are found all the way across the west coast. And they're found to sea level to, to 10,000 feet on top of Mount in California, Mount Whitney. And they're the state amphibian of Washington. Poor Oregon. We do not have a state amphibian. Pacific tree frogs are keystone species, which means they're very important to the ecosystem. In the case of the frogs, it's because lots of animals eat them. They're a very important part of the food chain. <laughs> Even though there are lots of Pacific tree frogs, we need to make sure they stick around. So to help the tree frogs, please make sure that there are no bullfrogs on your property. American bullfrogs are invasive species. They're not native to the west coast and they eat their poor little frogs. The poor little frogs. Even they even their little frogs. Sometimes. It's breeding season right now and this is what's going out on outside. They're croaking. <laughs> the males all get together and have their little karaoke bachelor party. All the boys um, sing by using their vo vocal sac, and the air from down here goes into the vocal sac, and they go bar. <laughs> the vocal sac amplifies the sound, so it can carry far enough for the girls to hear it and go, "Okay, it's time." <laughs> so, so the boy goes on top of the girl. And the girl lays eggs and the boy fertilizes them. And then, while I have lots of kids. <laughs> the girl so the eggs are in a little goo that keeps egg together eggs together and there are ten to seventy five eggs in one spot. And the goo protects them. The egg mass is attached to a stick, a weed, put right at the water surface or just below it. One female can lay between 400 and seven, 750 eggs per year. That is a lot of eggs. <laughs> I saw big ones too. We looked at an egg under a microscope and the first time we might have squashed it. So we saw cells. And then the time that we did not squash it, it, it was just a big round circle for now. Just six days after we collected this egg mass, we have tadpoles. This is not the last you'll hear of the Pacific tree fox. There will be a few more episodes. There will be one about the tadpoles, about when they're grown, metamorphosis, when that all happens. So this is the first of a series. Our first series, yay! So if you've got a question, a comment, or an idea for a video, just put it down in the comment section. Comment section, put it down in the comic. <laughs> just type it out right down there, please. If you're learning something and you would like to see more, please subscribe. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.